This is the Hot Wheels Mod Rod. It's a new casting for 2019. And I really like this casting. It reminds me a lot of the Bone Shaker. And uh, this particular one, I really like the color on. I just don't like the tampos on the sides of it. I don't mind the gold stripe uh, across the top. But the tampos, uh, they've got to go. I was looking for something to do that was... Uh, quick and easy, for lack of a better way of putting it. Um, I'm, I have some complex builds in process now, and just coming back from Thanksgiving vacation, I was looking for something to do that uh, I could actually start and finish it pretty quickly um, and have fun doing it. And this is the car that I chose to do. Um, I don't want to paint this car because I do really like the color. So I drilled it out and uh, filed it. I didn't show you here, but I did uh, tap it. If you were doing it yourself, you could just glue it back together. Didn't really have to tap it, but I did. And then I proceeded to use the dry erase markers to uh, remove the tampos. I pretty much take you start to finish in this video. Um, obviously at high speed. I think I did all of it here at 300% uh, of normal speed. So I wish I moved that quickly. Um, you may have noticed early on, there was a notation that there's a 1,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm rapidly approaching 1,000 subscribers. Uh, it boggles my mind to think about that. I really appreciate all of the subscriptions. And so I thought, well, why don't I give this away? And uh, I'm hoping to give away more cars next year as well. But I thought this would be a good one. Uh, you know, it's approaching Christmas time, and, and uh, it's been a good year for me. I really appreciate the community. Um, doing the cars has uh, really been good for me. It's given me something to focus on. And uh, you'll have to excuse me, I'm kind of fighting off a cold right now. <laughs> so if my voice sounds a little funky, that's why. And no, I'm not referring to funky at uh, Scale Street Garage, who... January 1st, it's the Battle of the Blades. Him and I are uh, chopping up some cars. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, anyhow, uh, that's a shameless plug for that upcoming event. Um, so, anyhow, I uh, detailed it using the Sharpie pins. And, uh, anyhow, you'll see a lot of what I go through on here. It, it, it uh, I try, I, I'm trying to, practice my detailing more and more and this seemed like a good one to do it on as well so as i mentioned uh, uh briefly there there's going to be a lot of changes happening uh, this year um i i don't have a lot of time to work on the cars right now but the job i've been working at for about 30 well actually over 30 years now is coming to an end next year so i may have a lot more free time to work on these things next year um but uh, th there's going to be some changes going on, but I'm hoping that it uh, gives me some more time to work on the cars, and uh, I really do enjoy doing them. So uh, I'm detailing this one out, and uh, I got the tampos off. I know people have asked, does the dry erase marker really work, or they've tried it on some tampos and it hasn't worked as well. As you could see on this one, they, they came off fairly easily. Uh, I don't know if that's because it's a new casting. It's not old paint. Um, but they really do. The, the dry erase marker works fantastically. Um, I have absolutely no complaints about it removing any of the tampos. I've tried it on before. Uh, some are a little tougher, and it's best to let that soak as you're doing it. But, but otherwise, no, it, it works perfectly fine. Uh, I enjoy using the paint pins, as you see here, but uh, I do end up uh, busting out the Citadel paints and using a brush for some of the interior detail. Um, I, while I really like the color of the body, I wanted to add more detail to that, as well as the chrome interior. Typically, I would have basically stripped the chrome off that interior and then painted it probably flat black and then chromed the areas I wanted chromed. 
in this case, I didn't want to go through that process. What I ended up doing was, as you could see, I used the gold marker there to uh, color some of the areas. I painted part of the engine red just to give it a little color. Uh, I put black on the end of the pipes and the intake. Uh, as far as the interior goes, uh, off camera, you don't see it uh, in this process, but I did, after doing some of the first detail on the interior, I did spray, uh, spray paint it. I masked off the pipes and the engine. And then I sprayed it with flat matte clear paint uh, so that when I painted the rest of the interior, it would stick a little better. Here you see me painting in the headlights, or what I want to be the headlights, which looking at it, I think they're headlights. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Lord only knows for certain because there's no tail lights on this thing. Uh, I did look, I didn't find any. So, uh, <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I wanted to get that flat uh, matte clear on there so that it would allow some of these colors that I'm painting on to stick a little bit better. Um, there I am painting the ends of the pipes, like I mentioned before. I don't like the chrome interior, the chrome seats, even though you really don't see them. Even though there's glass on the top, but it's all tinted, so it's difficult to see inside. I prefer an aluminum look to that if I'm not painting the seats a color of some kind. I, I don't like them chrome. I prefer that they look aluminum or steel. And so I end up using uh, the silver Sharpie pen to do that. As you'll see coming up, there's straps across the, the back there that I ended up painting brown on the body. That again, I'm using Citadel paints for. And then what I end up doing is after I paint the straps, I wanted a little more detail. So I took the gold pin again and painted the buckles on the straps and, and the release for the back hatch there with that gold pin. I think at first I, I used the brass pin. Sometimes, <clears throat> excuse me, you'll catch me trying to use different colors just to give it a uh, a little more detail to the body, give it a different shades, different thing, different colors. And so in this one, I think I originally started hitting him with the brass and I think there I am hitting him with the brass paint pen. Then I didn't like that because I wanted gold for that. So then I switched it over and, and ended up hitting it with the gold pen. I think you see that a little later. Um, I might have edited that out to this video was going along even at 300% of normal speed. So, uh, like there, you see me painting the, the uh, radiator on the front and uh, the front grill area. Um, I had originally put null oil in there, thinking that would give it the detail I wanted. But it wasn't dark enough for me, so I got out the Citadel black paint and uh, use that. Here I am with a gold Sharpie again, just changing things up a little bit, changing the silver I had originally used around the headlights to gold. That way it matches the stripe on the roof of the car and matches some of the other areas. I decided just uh, it would be best with more of a gold theme. Yeah, there I am hitting those. I absolutely love the Citadel paints as much as I love the paint pens. Um, the paint pens kind of let me cheat is what they let me do. I can cover areas quickly and easily with the paint pens and they do look good. But if you're really trying to do fine detail, like the buckles I could use the pens for because they're, they're raised. But anything other than that, really the Citadel paints. And that way, if you screw it up, you can uh, wash it off or use a, a toothpick even to, to wipe away some of it you know, before it dries. So anyhow, we uh, finally get it to the point <laughs> that it's ready to be reassembled. I threw a couple washers on there uh, with the screws. I bought a bag of Jeez, it was like a hundred of these washers, and I'm thrilled that I did. Uh, I mean, dirt cheap off Amazon. And uh, for the plastic bases, I find that when I drill them out, the holes are a little bit bigger. And the washers, uh, usually there's a bigger hole in the bottom of the car around the rivet as well. So using the washers works out great.
There's no reason not to use them. Uh, the wheels, by the way, are off a bone shaker. Uh, those are real riders. And they didn't need to be altered. Uh, they just truly dropped right in. As you see there, this is the car that's being given away once we hit 1,000 subscribers, which may happen any minute now. Uh, if you'd like to be considered in the selection process for that, basically it's going to be a random drawing based upon the people who comment on this video. So if you'd like to be entered in that drawing, just make a comment down below. And uh, at some point after hitting 1,000 subscribers, I will do the drawing, uh, hopefully as soon as possible after hitting 1,000 subscribers. Uh, if I'm out of town, I'll do it when I get back. Uh, and it will be a random drawing open to everybody. So there's uh, where we started out. That's the original casting um, right out of the package. And uh, yeah, I, I, I love the color of the car. I just don't like the tampos. I'm, I'm sure some of you prefer the tampos to them being stripped off. <laughs> but uh, for me, I wanted to look like how it would look if I was actually lucky enough to own this car and be driving it down the road through town on a Saturday night. You know? But uh, I wouldn't have the numbers on the side. I'd definitely change the wheels. Not that those wheels are terrible, but I'd change the wheels because I like these better. So here's where we ended up. I think it sits a little bit lower with these wheels too, which doesn't hurt. I think it looks a little bit meaner. So, um, I just want to thank all of you that uh, watch these videos that I do. Those of you that subscribe, I really appreciate it. I find it hard to believe that there's a thousand people out there that want to know when the next one of these is coming out. And I actually look forward to these. I look forward to doing them. I'm really enjoying doing the cars, and uh, I really do appreciate that uh, you guys like seeing them too. So thanks for watching. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Hope everyone has happy holidays. Keep an eye out for the Three Blind Mice build that's coming up um, later this month, January 1st. Uh, it's the Battle of the Blades. Uh, Scale Street Garage and I are doing that one. And I know there will be a lot of other builds in the future. So uh, happy holidays. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.